Um, and I, I still feel anger from it. Um, but as a kid, I felt, like you said, lost, confused. I always wished there was a safe place I could go run away to. Um, in fact, I ran away a couple of times. Um, but then to be hauled back by the police. <laughs> I'm all right. If that's if, if the Brady Bunch is, 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 is the good family, then we're the opposite end of the spectrum. We're right. Satan's children right. or something. I don't fuck. <laughs> My father was late. It was Christmas morning. He was about a half an hour late. And he and Russ and I were both feeling, uh, you know, because he would constantly be, we, would, we were going to spend the weekend with him, or it would always break down. And we never would. You know, or we'd go, we were going to go do something, and then he wouldn't show up. And, and I, I didn't understand that, obviously. I didn't understand where he was or what he was doing, only that we had plans, and they kept falling apart. And so he comes to pick us up on Christmas, and um, he can't get out of the car. He's so drunk on Christmas morning. 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm terrified. I'm 13. But he can't drive. And I'll figure it out. And my mom is like, you're not getting in the car, you're not going, and he can't even talk. I mean, I don't know how he got there. I drove, you know, my 10-year-old brother and myself and my father to my Christmas day, you know, <laughs> to, to be with the, my grandmother and, you know, that side of the family. And... We got to the house, I got him out of the car, got him into the house, he went to his bedroom, passed out. To the day he died, we never spoke of that incident. Mm. I never knew whether I should bring it up, how I would broach the subject, but that was, that was our relationship um, when we had one. And it was me taking care of him. Mm. Well, how do I deal with this? Okay, well, I'll just, I'll become, like you said at lunch, I'll become the adult. At six, eight, ten years old, I'll become the adult. I don't think I've ever told anyone this story. I think I was seven. My younger brother was five, and my older brother was four years old. I guess he was 11. We had been given some gum. There was a little wad of gum on the, the uh, arm of the sofa. And my dad came in and said, and said Whose gum is this? And uh, I said, it's not mine. And my older brother said, it's not mine. And, well, I mean, we all said it's not ours. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, because, well, you know, yeah. what's going to happen? And my dad said, okay, you two go in your bedroom and you decide whose gum that is. Oh, man. And when you decide, you come out. <clears throat> oh, my God. I mean, the, the, the psychological yeah. effect of that, of, okay, do I take a whipping because, you know, so that he doesn't. Right. Or do I say, you know, it's not my gum, it's yours, and make sure that he gets a whipping. I mean, it's like, when it's such a fucking simple thing, yeah. Yeah. why put kids under such a terrible yeah. psychological, <laughs> you know, strain when it's such a fucking simple thing? He ended up getting whipped, you know, I mean, took him out. And, and, and it's like, Jesus. Wow. Mm -hmm first woman left me for another woman. That was when I was 23. I waited 20 years to get married again when I was 42, and she left me for another woman. Hopeless. Did that you know? make you feel really uh, like, uh, for me, when I, when I went through mine with my wife, it made me feel like, what the fuck did I do wrong? Absolutely. Where did yeah. I go wrong? Right. I mean, instant. Well, well I think if, if you grew up in a, an abusive situation, you automatically take the blame because you always got the blame and it's a comfortable, familiar place. So, yeah, so it's always about you fucking up because that's what it was, you know. So it, it's not surprising that both of you guys, you know, would feel that way. Absolutely. Hey, I, you know, I, I think repeating behavior, yeah. I, I doubt there's anybody sitting here who hasn't sure. repeated bad behavior yep. over and over. Oh, Every yeah. time a relationship ends, yep. instead of thinking, well, what, what was my part in this? Next, next, just oh, take yeah, a number. Yeah, because yeah, if you keep going, your know, bad stuff doesn't catch up with you if you keep going. That's uh, right. Because yeah. it, it does mm -hmm. catch up with you. It kills you. <sighs> so, yeah. Interesting. Wow. It's, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be pissed. But don't be bitter. Because once you let bitter creep in, you know, then it, it affects you forever. So get past. Get it <laughs> over with. But don't let bitterness ruin your life. And it's obviously, uh, you know, you guys haven't done that. I, I, you and I share that situation of getting left with a baby. Um, when you got left with that baby, how did that feel? 
you know, forget about the responsibility because I get that. Yeah. How did you feel though to get left with a baby? I was pissed. I was just as mad as you could possibly get. And uh, I didn't understand. I wanted to understand, you know, what the, what the hell happened here? And, uh, you know, there was some self-pity there um, as well. And it was just mostly the anger and, and not knowing and not, not giving me an opportunity to make things better if I was screwing something up or, or whatever. It just felt really unfair. You know, it might have been easier if she just slapped me upside the head and said, well, you fucked up because you did this, this, and this. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, that's something I can work on and move on. But I, I, I couldn't do that. So there was some anger around that. So I had to let go. I had to let go of that so I could not take go to that, uh, not go to that bitter place. But you were, you, you were <clears throat> angry. Yeah, I was very, very angry. Because, I mean, she left us. I mean, you know, we had a little bit of money and a little nest egg and this and that. But I came back and there was, there was nothing. And uh, she did, as good a mother as she was, she didn't do anything to help support us over the years either. Mm -hmm. So it she all, just walked, cut the cord, and walked away totally. Oh, gone, just gone. She, His she, mother abandoned him completely. Yeah. So he's that's going to rear somewhere. It, it, it has to. It, it it probably is. But the you know the thing that as mad as as angry as I was at her. I couldn't let that seep into his. You couldn't you know, color. Right. I couldn't. I, you know, I never said anything bad about her. You're a big man. Yeah. You know. and more ways than one. Just, you think about her now, because I found that fascinating when I heard that sentence come out of your mouth. No, I, I think she's. I think she's a wonderful person. I, now that's the part I find fascinating. And I, that she I, walked out on you, left you with a baby, and yeah. you still use the word wonderful in the. Good on you, man, to be able to do that. Yeah, that, well, that wouldn't work in my world. Uh, he called up and wanted to talk to my grandparents, and he didn't know who it was. You know, mm. I'm a man. Mm. Well, and the last time he saw wow. him, I was a 13, 14-year-old boy. Scared the shit out of him. You know, I, mean, oh, I was boy. scared to death of this guy. Mm -hmm. And he, he says, yeah, this is John West. I want to talk to him. I'm like, whoa, hey, do you know who this is? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? And uh, so I let him have it. And I said, you know, you don't ever call my grandparents' house again. He said, I'm, I'm not the little scared 14-year-old boy anymore. I'm a man. And I, I let him have it. I told him he was a piece of shit. And at that time, I had all this anger. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, if I ever were to see you on the street, I would kill you where you stand. Mm -hmm. I would, with my bare hands, I'd rip your throat out. I was very angry. But it was relieving. I'm it was relieving. Yeah. It was yeah. relieving to take that anger and hand it back to him. Because yeah. that's what I did. I said, I'm not holding this anger up for you anymore. I'm going to let you have it. It's back on your plate now. And I was able to do that with my real father, too, uh, not too many years ago. And those were life-changing moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It took, it took the a lot of this baggage that I've been carrying on my shoulders for years and years and years and put it back to where it belongs. Uh, the power that I've given small people, not you know, the physical stature, just small people, and given them power over my life for, mm, for years. Absolutely. See, I have a hard time with that. I don't think my dad did the best job he could. Hmm. Hmm. I just don't think he did. Mm -hmm. I think my mother carried him, and she did his job too. I mean, she's an amazing woman, amazing woman. And the strength that she had and to carry, carry forward and to raise three kids, basically, no, four kids. She right. had to raise him too. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was no older than a 12 year old. I, I, I still believe that. And he could have done fucking better. So you're yeah. not ready to forgive him? I'm, I'm not ready yet. But I, if I, he I was, still have, I still okay. have a lot of. Yeah. But, but, but let me ask you this. If you just said it, I think, I think and if you take stock of the, of the sentence, you just said he was no better than a 12 year old. Right. Well, if he was emotionally a 12 year old, then, then maybe he was doing the best he could. Because he was not equipped. <laughs> right? right? Maybe. There you go. He was not equipped. <laughs> and one way or the other, you, you, one way or the other, you didn't let him have power over your life anymore. Yeah. Whether, right. whether you said he did the best job or not, right, yeah. you refused to give him that power. Well, so. I, I think we all have a, 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 a lot of people have a misconceived perception of forgiveness, though, too. Uh, forgiveness doesn't mean that what they did is ever going to be considered right. No, no. It's, it's, it's basically you releasing yourself, yourself yeah. from the wrong. 
Yep, right. um, basically, you know, you say, it, when, when, like I went through this with my mom, you know, we, I had some issues with her, and I've recently told her I forgave her, and, and she did the best she could with what she had and what she was left with and the position she put herself into. Okay, I gave her credit for it because she did basically raise six kids in this horrible situation pretty much by herself. Mm -hmm. um, but I've learned that, you know, it doesn't mean that you still can't be angry about what happened to yes. you. 